Ever wondered how to use a 4x4 matrix keypad in your Arduino projects? Today we're going to demystify that process for you. This video is all about understanding and implementing a 4x4 matrix keypad into your Arduino projects. Now why should you care about a 4x4 matrix keypad? Well this versatile piece of hardware opens up a world of possibilities for your Arduino projects. From creating a custom security system to designing an interactive game, the potential applications are only limited by your imagination. Over the course of this video we'll walk you through the entire process. We'll start with a deep dive into the 4x4 matrix keypad, understanding its workings and benefits. Then we'll guide you step by step through the hardware setup, followed by the software setup. And finally we'll test the system and discuss some common troubleshooting tips. By the end of this video you will be able to integrate a 4x4 matrix keypad into your Arduino projects with ease. Now what exactly is a 4x4 matrix keypad and why do we use it? Let's delve into that. The 4x4 matrix keypad, as the name suggests, is a grid of 16 keys arranged in 4 rows and 4 columns. It's a compact and efficient way to get user input. Each key on the keypad is assigned a unique identifier, which makes it easy to determine which key has been pressed. But how does it communicate with the Arduino? Well, it's all about circuits. When a key is pressed, it completes a circuit, and the Arduino detects this change. By knowing which circuit was completed, the Arduino can figure out which key was pressed. The 4x4 matrix keypad is essential for projects that require user input, like entering a password, navigating a menu, or playing a game. It's simple, reliable, and efficient. A perfect match for Arduino systems. As you can see, the 4x4 matrix keypad is a versatile and valuable tool for any Arduino enthusiast. Now comes the exciting part, setting up your hardware. Begin by identifying your 4x4 matrix keypad and Arduino board. The keypad has 16 keys in total, arranged in 4 rows and 4 columns, hence the name 4x4. The Arduino on the other hand is a microcontroller board that we'll use to interface with the keypad. The first step is to make connections between the keypad and Arduino. You'll notice the keypad has 8 pins, 4 for the rows, and 4 for the columns. Each of these pins has a specific function and will correspond to a digital pin on the Arduino. Start by connecting the first row pin of the keypad to the first digital pin of the Arduino. Repeat this process for each of the remaining rows and columns, ensuring each row pin on the keypad is connected to a corresponding digital pin on the Arduino. These connections allow the Arduino to detect which button is pressed on the keypad by scanning each row and column. It's a bit like a game of Battleship, where the Arduino is trying to find out which cell or button has been activated. Now let's talk about power. The Arduino can be powered via USB or with an AC to DC adapter or battery. For this setup we're using a USB connection. Simply plug the USB cable into the Arduino and your computer. This not only powers the Arduino, but also allows it to communicate with your computer. As you're making these connections, remember to be gentle with the pins. They can be quite delicate. And don't worry if you get a connection wrong. It's all part of the learning process. Just make sure to double check your work before you power on the Arduino. A quick tip before we wrap up this section. Color code your wires. It can really help you keep track of your connections, especially when you're dealing with multiple wires. With the hardware setup complete, you're halfway there. Next we'll dive into the software side of things. Once your hardware is set up, it's time to get your software in order. Now let's navigate the seas of code together. The first step in our software setup is to load up the Arduino IDE. If you're new to this, the Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment is where we'll write and upload our code to the Arduino. First, we need to include the keypad library. This library simplifies the process of reading the inputs from our 4x4 matrix keypad. To include the library, we simply write at the top of our code, hash include, keypad. If you don't have this library installed, you can download it from the Arduino website and add it to your IDE. Next, let's define the keys that are present on our keypad. We do this by creating a multi-dimensional array. We specify the characters on the keypad in the same order they appear, from left to right and top to bottom. The next step involves defining the row and column pins on the Arduino that connect to the keypad, this is done by creating two arrays, one for the rows, and one for the columns. We fill these arrays with the numbers of the digital pins we connected to the keypad in our hardware setup. Now comes the exciting part. We create our keypad object. This is the bridge between our Arduino and the keypad. We provide it with our key map, our pin arrays, and the dimensions of our keypad. 
Next, we'll write our main loop. This is the heart of our program. It's where we'll read the key presses from our keypad and react to them. We will use the get key function of our keypad object to read the key presses. Once we have the key, we can use it in a switch case statement to perform different actions based on the key pressed. Remember, this code is just a starting point. Feel free to modify it to suit your specific needs. Add functions, create complex actions, the sky is the limit. With your software ready, you're all set to start using your 4x4 matrix keypad. Keypad. Before you start using your keypad, it's crucial to test your system. Testing the 4x4 matrix keypad is a straightforward process. You'll want to press each key individually and check the corresponding output on your Arduino's serial monitor. If a key isn't registering or is producing an incorrect output, there might be an issue with your wiring or your code. Let's troubleshoot some common problems. If no keys are working, double-check your wiring connections. Make sure each pin on the keypad is correctly connected to the appropriate pin on the Arduino. If only some keys are functioning, the issue might be in your code. Look for any errors or typos in your key mapping. Remember, patience is a virtue with electronics. If you're still having trouble, don't hesitate to seek help from the Arduino community. They're a fantastic resource for troubleshooting. Now that you know how to test and troubleshoot, you're ready to start using your 4x4 matrix keypad in your Arduino projects. That's a switch. There's... And, uh... The motor speed is set from 0 to 255. So, mod speed, mod SPD is the motor speed 